Hey, hi, CMA buddies. Welcome back in my new video. Or today in this session, I have a different success story for all of you. Today, I am here with Tanisha, and she is basically from Nagpur, Maharashtra. She has completed her CMA intermediate, as well as she is also pursuing CA. And along with this, she is also doing modeling, and she participated in Miss India competition. So this is a one of the big achievement and. I want to record this story because I know many of the CMA students. They are just doing a study. They are not doing any extra curriculum. So based on this session, you will learn many things and you will get success in your life also. So hi Tanisha, how are you? Hello, I'm good. What about you? Yeah, I'm also doing great. Thanks for asking, and thanks for coming on my platform. Yeah, it's a great pleasure for me as well to share my experience with you and all the CACMA aspirants all here. Thank you. And great. So, Tanisha, you recently participated in Miss India competition, right? So, how was your yeah. experience? So, uh, the experience was incredible and very great. Actually, I have learned many things there. That how to manage your time because we didn't get most of the time to sleep over there because the real sir is used to going for continuous twenty four hours sometimes. So the schedule and sessions were literally very hectic. Actually, and uh, I got to learn many things. Got to interact with the most successful and wonderful people over there, and the specialist over there in every stream. Great, you you started your CMA and CA journey just after class twelfth, right? So, what inspired you to start your journey in like? This field because CA CMA this both qualification required most more efforts times. So then, how did you manage these things? Your modeling and your CMA. How did you manage? So uh, basically, when I was doing CA, I mean yes, I am doing CA. <laughs> but when I was giving my CA foundation exam. Then I got to know about CMA course as well because I didn't knew anything about CMA earlier. But then I got to know about CMA, the curriculum of CMA, and everything. Then um, what I saw is that there's I guess very quite very quite difference between the CA and CMA course. You can manage doing both the courses with just a study of single course because there is no different. Subject are same, curriculum is same, syllabus is same. There is just I guess five to ten percent of different in both the courses. And what I like about the CMA course the most is about the costing factor because I am the person who loves costing a lot. In the CA also, costing was my favorite subject. Okay. And this costing is the core of CMA course, which has the lot of opportunities in. Industries that a lot. That's why I decided to pursue CMA as well, along with my CA. Okay, good. So, how did you manage your time? Because when you started your modeling, also, and I can see you are also doing good in that field. Your communication, your body language, your way of talking, everything is perfect. It's also required lots of efforts to be perfect in that thing. Being a CMA, I know most of the students they are not good in these fields. As well as they are just focus on their studies. They are not doing any other activities. They are not celebrating the festivals and all. So I have seen you cracked your foundation and intermediate both in first attempt, and you managed also these things. So what was the key of success? I would say the consistency is the key to success. Doesn't matter whatever you are doing, pursuing your academics, your passion doesn't matter. But what required is your time management and consistency a lot. Because when I decided to go for Miss India competition, I already had a lot on my plate. My office was there. I mean, is there? Right now also, studies are there, but 
along with that i have to manage my competition as well i have to prepare for that because there's a lot more thing to do your work practice your all over personality your all over development is required there because many rounds are there your pi round is there your uh, question and answer round is there your work round is there your talent round is there lot more things are there that you need to do and improve in your yourself so what i did for that i just used to a lot at least half an hour for my modeling practice i didn't join any kind of agency any kind of training for my competition i did it on my own by watching youtube videos and doing practice regularly just half an hour so that is that what you need to do to achieve anything is just a consistency and just a matter of time management time management is just a single factor that will help you to achieve whatever you want to achieve in your life so if you are thinking that you are pursuing any kind of professional course being it ca cma cs doesn't matter you can do your passion along with that this is just a stereotype that you all need to break and we all want to break it right now and many of the students are doing that that is what i want to tell you everybody that this is not compulsory that if you are doing any professional course then you just need to focus in just a single thing not at all not compulsory you can do lot more right correct so there is one more question uh, yeah. if i talk about your study so what was your study plan and how did you appear for your exam to crack it in first attempt yeah uh, my study plan was quite different because i i am a person who study uh, while singing uh, singing and listening songs actually i can't study without listening songs i can't even practice is practical subject and can't even learn theory subject without listening song so that is my motivational factor that keeps me motivated so i used to study for a continuous 14 to 15 hours a day my schedule was quite uh, like hectic like i didn't used to uh, you know take breaks a lot i am a person who who used to study straight away that is and i used to study till uh, 3 am in the morning used to sleep at 3:30 am in the morning and used to wake up at 7 am in the morning so it's just about 3 and 4 hours of sleep when i was in inter i i remember that days for continuous 3 months i didn't sleep more than 3 hours a day that was a very crucial period for me and the most important thing because of that schedule i got sick during my examination period i was not able to stand up not able to eat anything not able to talk but still i had given my examination of intermediate my parents were like ki oh don't give it you are not in a condition to appear for the exam because तुम एग्जाम देने भी जाओगे सो आई डोंट थिंक सो कि तुम क्लियर कर पाओगे बिकॉज यू आर नॉट इन दैट सिचुएशन सो डोंट टेक दैट मच ऑफ स्ट्रेस बिकॉज आई डेंट ओपन सिंगल बुक ऑफ एनी सब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड इट वॉज जस्ट दैट मोटिवेशन दैट यस आई हैव गिवन अ लॉट इन दिस आई आई यूज टू स्लीप जस्ट थ्री आवर्स अ डे आई हैव टू अपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम it's from my inner heart only so whatever you want to do in your fear it should be from your inner heart that will help you grow further in your life nothing else great yeah. so like there is a exam and uh, there is only 3 hours you have to appear for your exam how did you manage the exam yeah. stress of the 3 hours and cracked it yeah most of the time in papers got you know hard i i literally got nervous at that time so the thoughts were continuously roaming in my mind that what now what will i do because i don't know the answer of this question i literally don't know I, i'm going to fail obviously i'm going to fail 
these are the thoughts that anybody can have in their mind during the examination session even i had but what i did that despite of not knowing any answer of the question i just used to keep calm calm down yourself try to be positive and just try to focus on the question whatever you study just correlate all the things you will able to solve that question for sure that i can assure because i did that so that is okay great any other thing from your journey you want to share to all the audience students yeah most of the most important thing that i have learned during my uh, study period being it article ship period or being it modeling that um, the student and most of the um, people faces in this generation is of being under confident they didn't have faith in themselves they let your moral down just by we are in the field of professional exam we used to see that ups and downs in your life the, the only thing i'll tell you all that never ever let your moral down just think about how can i become a better version of myself because nobody is perfect here everyone is unique you just have to be yourself try to be the best version of yourself because everyone is unique here and everyone is the best in their self if you got fail in the exam try to bounce back harder not like that i got failed and i'm going to sit at home like this and shake up like this not at all stand up go more and try to achieve whatever you want to achieve in your life stay focused and just work hard that's it that is what i want to tell you all okay so you ping me on instagram so i want to know like why did you choose my platform to share your journey like i am totally like excited when i know you you are also doing modeling and then you are pursuing cm and even you completed your exams in the first attempt like it was totally great uh, inspiration and learning for me from your journey also yeah uh the um because there is some um points in my mind uh, that i want to share with you all when uh, whenever um, i gave my exam i visited the center i have seen that many of the crowd is diverting their focus towards ca course than the cma course the student student enrolling for cma course is not much more the very less quantum of student are en- enrolling in this course and whoever doing this course i have seen they are not confident enough about themselves they are always doubting themselves and i saw your videos on youtube as well how you motivate uh, ca at sp- uh, cma aspirants and uh, how you guide them about your campus placement program also i have seen about that as well so i thought that it is the right platform and right time that i need to share my experience with cma aspirants as well right so that is why i pinged you on instagram and messaged you to have a podcast with me yeah thanks thanks it's like great learning for me also you learn many thing without taking classes like you you are doing a great things in your life and yeah yesterday result came i think yesterday no day, day before yesterday on 23 and till now 85 plus students registered in my campus course so again oh, that's it, really great yeah it's great for me and i want you should also guide more of the cma students because you have a unique quality you can guide and you can motivate yeah. them also and keep working focus yeah, on your yeah. study also and try to finish your yeah. cma as soon as possible if any support any guidance sure. required from my side you can connect me any time okay sure 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 all the best bye bye take care